Hey guys, it is Ryan Fitch here doing another review. Today we're taking a look at the uh, Teenage Mutant Turtles movie figures of Mike, the Michelangelo figures. So here's Michelangelo, uh, the party guy of the bunch. Um, packaging looks pretty nice. You can see uh, Michelangelo's in the packaging. Then you can see the turtles on the side, and then you see Michelangelo there. It says Michelangelo, Nickelodeon. Ugh. Why do I keep saying Nickelodeon? I don't know for the maybe the uh, cartoon, I guess, but still. Uh, the Ninja Turtles line, so uh, on the back you guys can see all the figures that are in the line. I've only got the Turtles, and I do plan on getting all these guys here. And also, there's the bio if you guys would like to read it. There's another picture of the Turtles. On the bottom you just see some stuff. So, um, yeah, so let's get this guy out of the packaging and see if he's uh, better than his counterpart, or if he's better than Donatello. So, let's see if he's a pretty good figure. Alright, so now that we got this guy out of the packaging, let's take a look. First, let's look at his accessories, which... First of all, he does come with these nunchucks, which are a pliable yellow plastic, and also he does come with these little nunchucks that are like, I don't know, I honestly don't know what these are, and they're huge, like, honestly, I don't think I'm going to display him with these, because these are so dumb looking, honestly, I'm not, this is a stupid thing, but he does come with one pair of nunchucks, which kind of does suck that he only has one pair, and also the plastic is starting to wear out on this guy, which is starting to, like, uh, geez, I hope this doesn't break. If it breaks, I'll be sad. And I have to get another uh, Michelangelo, and I don't want to. Like, that's the one thing that really irks me about some figures. Like, if something breaks, I will go absolutely nuts. Like, it's gonna be, it'd be hard for me to display him with it. So, oh, you know, let's get the turtle fake, let's get the this stuff out. So, first of all, um, he does look pretty cool. Uh, this design has kind of grown on me, like I've said about the Donatello figure. Um, he's probably one of my least favorite looking turtles in the, uh, new movie, but still, does look pretty cool. Um,. Once, what should I talk about him first? Uh, first, let's compare him to Donatello, which also Donatello is still a lot taller than Mike, uh, Michelangelo, which is kind of accurate. Oops, all right, let me look at the camera. So, yeah, he's a lot, he's a little taller than him. So, yeah, and then let's compare Michelangelo to his Nickelodeon counterpart, which is different shades of green, which is surprising. Um, the new movie figure is a little more stood up and uh, also a little more taller than, uh, the Nickelodeon one, so that's, um, that's something I didn't think was gonna happen, because I honestly thought they'd be the same size, but still, um, he's not bad, I do like the green they chose for him, the green looks pretty nice, um, the bandana looks pretty cool, but he does have a little uh, paint missing from his eye, so he does kind of look a little derpy. One thing I forgot to say about these figures is that their mouths are closed, which I'm very happy, because it's not like every single ti uh, time you see the turtles, their mouth is going to be like this, open, so it's pretty cool to see these guys with their mouths closed, so, uh, yeah, so next on the back is the shell, which is very worn and brownish, which looks pretty nice, and then on this, uh, waist, you can see he's got a hoodie, which is different than uh, Donatello because he's kind of got a warrior, like, uh, sk skirt on. So, uh, yeah, so then, um, he does have pants on, which is a little weird. Um, also he has shoes, which his toes are poking out. So, uh, yeah, then you can see his arms, they're all bandaged up, and he's like, he looks like he's, like, ready to go on to a fight. Like, he has, like, like, he's ready to fight, like, Donatello in a fist fight. But then again, you don't bring a, uh, your fist, uh, you don't bring a fist to a bow fight, so, I don't know. It just kind of does, it kind of looks like, uh, like you're ready to go boxing or something. But, um, yeah, so then, you can see on his chest, he does have his necklace, and also, he does not have his sunglasses, which I'm fine with. Then his chest looks pretty nice, it's a little smaller than the shell, so it's a little weirder, because, um, because... This one's pretty nice size compared to the shell, which also something they missed, and not a lot of people notice this, but there is no paint detailing right under there. It's supposed to go around, like for example, you can see that right there is painted. This is green, so it's a little, that kind of irks me a little, like it just makes me like a little mad about it, because like it's supposed to go on, so like you'll see, it's hard to explain, but there's not, it's not supposed to be green here, there's supposed to be a shell there, like right, like there's no green there, it should be a shell. Which is a little disappointing to see, but um, for articulation, the head can go 360 degrees. Arms are on a ball joint, kind of uh, swivels, and it goes up and down, back to forward. It also bends by the elbow and swivels. And then there's no wrist articulation, which kind of sucks. No chest articulation or waist articulation. Legs can move, bend, and also bends at the knee, and no uh, foot articulation. So um, yeah, so not bad. Um, he is an okay figure. Um, not my favorite out of the line. Uh, Mike Lange is probably my third favorite turtle. Then Donatello is my fourth, but still, um, pretty cool. 
Um, I'm very much looking forward to the movie. These designs have really grown on me a little more. So, um, yeah, so this looks like a great figure. Looking forward to the movie. And, um, if you're a Turtles fan, I definitely pick these up because, of course, if you're a Turtles fan, you kind of have to. Um, if you're not a Turtles fan and you, this is the first time you've ever, ever seen a Turtles uh, project, like, for example, you're going to go see the movie and you're looking forward to it, I'd wait to get the figures until you know you like the movie. So, uh, yeah, so it's basically, if you've never seen anything to do with Turtles, I'd wait. And then, if you like the movie, go. Um, you should try picking up the figures. But if, you, if you've seen a lot of stuff about the Turtles, you should really decide to pick these figures up. So, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews, and I'll see you guys next time.